What's up guys, it's LH at Low Tech, and we're we'll doing a quick overview of some of the parts we're gonna be using for our new Raspberry Pi Genesis Mini build. So this is actually going to be taking this Sega Genesis, Sega Mega Drive for, for everybody outside of the US, a USB hub, putting the Raspberry Pi 3 inside of that, modifying it, um, as well as installing some emulators and some ROMs so we actually can try to play Sega games on a tiny mini Sega console. And this is pretty much everything we're going to, to need. So kind of going over everything box by box so you have some idea of what we're gonna be doing. This is just gonna be the intro video covering all of the pieces we're gonna be using and then we'll be doing more videos during the process as well as the testing. Uh, you can check online for, there's a lot of different people uh, doing very similar builds to, to this one. Uh, Simply Austin has a great video about his experience doing this, um, as well as there is actually dedicated Facebook pages to helping people do this. So if you are, are interested in doing that, um, I'll kind of go over what the prices were for all this stuff, as well as where you can get them. There will be links down in the description if you are interested in purchasing, uh, purchasing any of this. All of this, except for this piece here, was available on Amazon. So. Taking a look at the first item on the list, this is the Sega Genesis Classic Game Hub. So really it's a four port USB hub, USB 2.0 I believe. Um, nothing actually very special other than the looks of it. It looks like a tiny Genesis console. Uh, so like the, the, well actually let's just go ahead and take it out, out of the box. Aha, that's what it looks like. It looks like a tiny Genesis console. And there's actually nothing really that special About it, other than looking like tiny Genesis console. So, made of the same kind of plastic. It is very light and flimsy. It actually was probably a pretty crappy hub, uh, mainly because it weighs so little and there has no rubber feet at the bottom. So, you're uh, plugging in something, you have to like, kind of hold it in and plug it in, and it's, yeah, it is what it is. Um, but other than that, it at least appears like a very functional Sega Genesis console. So, we're gonna be opening up. Raspberry Pi inside of here. You can get this on Shirt Punch, I believe that's the name of the website. Uh, and depending on whether or not it's on sale, it's somewhere between 10 and 20 bucks. Uh, I got mine for 10, then shipping was like five bucks. So hopefully you guys can get it for a similar price to that one. Second piece is a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, you can get these on Amazon or a number of different places depending on where you are in the world. Uh, these run you, uh, was it like $35, 30 bucks. Um, and this is just the board itself. Nothing really else comes with the board. It actually comes in a, in a paper sack. I'm not gonna go over all the stuff in there. Um, and well, anyways, Raspberry Pi is in here. It's just a tiny little circuit board that we put inside of there. Kind of like a tiny Android computer that you can modify and pretty much run versions of Linux or Android on on whatever you would decide to put it into. Uh, and all honestly, if you didn't care that it looked like the Sega Genesis, they sell cases for like seven bucks on Amazon that would require almost no work on your part. And you can kind of skip almost everything else in this. But going on to the next part is going to be the hard drive slash storage medium. This is going to be a, a 32 gigabyte car be bought 12 bucks. This is where the operating system as well as all of the emulators and stuff is gonna go on. So flash the software onto here from your computer, plug it into your Raspberry Pi, and you're done. No other, other things you really need to do. Um, everything else is kind of up to you and what you want to use. Um, this is a power supply. It's just a micro USB power supply for, uh, this one's made for Raspberry Pi, but really you could use almost anything. Um, we got this one as part of a kit. I think it was like 40 bucks and it also included heat sinks. Um, so these are heat sinks that, to help the Raspberry Pi stay cool since it's gonna be in an enclosed place without a fan. So hopefully that all works out just fine. Uh, these are USB controllers in the style of Sega Saturn. So yes, technically this is Sega Saturn controller. This is a Sega Genesis. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> The main reason we want Sega Saturn controllers was 
they, they still have the same six button layout as an advanced Sega Genesis controller, but it also includes L and R, uh, which Sega Genesis controllers do not. So it does let us use other emulators that require L and R, like if we ever decided to put Super Nintendo games on here, then it is pretty, it doesn't have all the buttons for that already. Um, other than select, but there's extra buttons, so anyways. Uh, everything else is going to be used to shape or modify this to make this uh, casing work because this is not a Raspberry Pi casing, this is just a USB hub. So these are uh, little metal files uh, that you can use to cut out this back portion here for the HDMI, the power, um, and the audio out so it fits through here. So. There's a, a couple different ways you could do this. If you didn't care about how the back looked, really, you could probably take a good pair of like wire clippers or something like that and just cut out the back and make it look all ugly, but it, it is what it is. And this way is a little more uh, finesse way of actually just cutting out the areas that you need. And then there's also this, which is a soldering iron. Um, and depending on how you actually want to install this into the device, you actually can cut out this cable and solder the the wires from the USB leads right onto the Raspberry Pi board. Not sure where to do that, but there are a number of different modifications in the future, like if you actually wanted to make the on and off button work, um, or potentially even the volume switch, because they do function on the, on the hub. Um, obviously there's nothing going on inside of the hub for these, these are just cosmetic. Um, but if you did want to get other switches and solder some stuff onto here, you can. Um, so this is going to be the most uh, unnecessary of, of all these parts here, uh, only if you actually wanted to go more advanced. If you just want a Raspberry Pi that looks like this, you could take this part out and make do with what everything else you have there. But this could be a little more advanced and also you can clear up um, some of the space inside the case, uh, make it run a bit cooler by cutting out the cable. So. This is everything that you need. This is everything we're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna be hopefully walking you through all the steps. If you have any questions about all the things that we're gonna do, let us know. Uh, there are several videos about this on, on this subject on the internet, so uh, if, you're, if you're stuck and our new video hasn't come out yet, uh, obviously take a look around and see um, what everybody else is doing, but this is gonna be our next project. Uh, Sega is a, a big deal for, for us. Um, we actually did help fund the Kickstarter for the service games history of Sega book um, a couple of years ago. So Sega is a big deal. And this is going to be something we're doing for the next uh, couple of days and weeks. So thanks for watching guys. This is LH Low Tech and this has been a quick overview of the parts that we're going to use in future videos for the Sega Genesis mini classic retro Raspberry Pi gaming console extravaganza. Subscribe.